It is official. California has a new speaker of the state assembly. That is Robert Riva, sworn in today to one of the most powerful positions in state government. Thanks for joining us tonight for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Carryman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace was in the chamber as Rivas delivered his first ever speech as speaker and has more tonight on his message. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. <laughs> With that, Robert Rivas officially becoming California's 71st Speaker of the State Assembly, an emotional moment for this Central Coast lawmaker who comes from a farm worker family. My grandfather, he was a farm worker his entire life. My family and I, we, I grew up in farm worker housing. And today, I stand before you as Speaker of the California State Assembly. That, that is the California dream. A California dream Rivas believes is attainable in the Golden State, but during his remarks in front of this high-profile group, including Governor Gavin Newsom, former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Labor Leader Dolores Huerta, and lawmakers from across the state, Rivas warned that dream is now becoming harder and harder to achieve for everyday Californians. Yes, California is the fourth largest economy in the world. But if we, in this room, if we do not act and act with greater urgency, it will get more and more difficult to build a good life here. That, he says, includes the issue of affordable housing. Today, home ownership for anyone except the most affluent Californians is simply out of reach. Other issues on his list include public university tuition, increased costs across the board, and homelessness. The encampments under our highways and uh, on downtown streets but working in middle-class families, they're facing the same pressures and they are asking the same question. Is there still a place for me in California? He says the answer is unequivocally yes. California, we are still the greatest state in the union. But to keep it that way, he believes new leadership in the legislature is necessary. He takes over as speaker after more than half the Assembly Democratic Caucus last year chose him over now former speaker Anthony Rendon. And while there have been rumors about whether Democrats are fractured over Rivas versus Rendon, during a post-speech press conference, Rivas said this. I believe we are unified. Now he looks to the future in a position deemed powerful because of its influence over which bills get heard on the floor, who's appointed to various committees, and what budget priorities are relayed directly to the governor. Newsom says he's looking forward to working with Rivas. I'm a big fan, and I have great confidence uh, in the new speaker. A confidence Rivas so too hopes to earn from the people of California. We will get it done, and we will get it done together. Thank you very, very much. And something that it is important to note here is that Rivas is actually the first speaker in California history to really represent a rural area. Now, I also got a chance to ask Rivas about his message for Republicans. Remember, Republicans represent about 22 percent of the registered voters in the state. Well, he said he looks forward to working across the aisle with his GOP colleagues and working for all Californians. Reporting live from the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News. And Aton, I know you touched on this in your story, too. I mean, there was a lot of star power in the chamber when uh, now Speaker Rivas was sworn in. It seems <laughs> like it was a pretty happy event. <laughs> Absolutely, Nikki. And you know what? Yes, fascinating to see Nancy Pelosi there, Governor Newsom. By the way, I didn't even mention there, we also had this top uh, top state officials, everybody from Attorney General Rob Bonta to Controller Malia Cohen. So a lot of star power in that room. And by the way, I just want to say uh, two final things in terms of those Republicans. We, we didn't see uh, a whole lot of uh, or really hear from Republican reaction, but as for who was in the room, well, former Secretary of State Republican Bruce McPherson, he now serves on the Santa Cruz Board of Supervisors. He knows uh, Robert Rivas very well. He's Republican served under Schwarzenegger and um, former uh, uh, former speaker, several former speakers actually, including former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, current L.A. Mayor Karen Bass, and former Republican Speaker Pringle, they all were there. So it goes to show you there was a little bit of unity in the sense of who showed up, who used to serve in this role. Nikki? All right, our Aton Wallace joining us now live from the state capitol. Aton, thanks so much.